17 years ago, the first President Bush signed America's first cap-and-trade system into law. Emissions of sulfur dioxide, acid rain, were killing off fish, damaging forests, even tarnishing the paint on new automobiles. Congress and the White House forged a solution. This landmark legislation will reduce air pollution each year by 56 billion pounds. That's 224 pounds for every man, woman, and child in America. Under a cap and trade system, the cap sets the maximum allowable level of pollution. But each company decides for itself how to get there. Some companies find they can reduce their emissions far below the cap. Others prefer to trade and purchase some of those excess reductions. Once we did that, we discovered that the efficient companies that could get down below the standard could sell their excess to the less efficient ones, and the net result was a 50% improvement in the amount of emissions of sulfur dioxide. At a fraction of the cost, it would have involved if we had simply set a regulation and said meet it by command and control.